It started recording. I didn't expect it to. Hey, everybody. Uh, today, I'm not in a tank top, and I don't have freshly washed hair. What is the world coming to? Nobody knows. Uh, we're going to talk about a book again. But we just talked about a book yesterday. I know, but I think I might be addicted to books. Like, in a bad way. Well, not a bad way. At least it's not, like, cocaine. Right? Anyway, I read Until You, which is the, I'm not going to say follow-up book, what, like, companion book to Penelope Douglas's Bully. Um, I guess you, you, sh you should read Bully before you read Until You, so I'm just going to assume that you have read Bully and you are here because Until You intrigued you. So let's talk about it. Let's talk about Until You. If you haven't read it, um, these are spoilers, I guess. Um, but if you have read it, let us discuss. In the reviews I read about Until You, people said it will really give you a deeper understanding about Jared and why he is the way he is. Now my dilemma with Jared in Bully was I know he had this tragic past, I totally get that, but that didn't make me feel sorry for him in terms of what he did to Tate. Obviously what he went through is awful, but I still don't think it gave him the right to be a shitty person. So in Until You, when he was saying Oh, like, I, I loved her so much, I couldn't have her, it drove me ba mad, blah, blah, blah. I just thought, grow the fuck up, Jared. What is wrong with you? Like, break the cycle of crappy lives. Don't be spreading it on, you jerk. Um, so it really, like, I liked Jared, but I also didn't like Jared. Like, he was not nice most of the time. Even to Maddox, who I didn't like in Bully and then liked in this. Like, you can't just go around hitting people, bro. It's not okay, especially your best friend. If my best friend punched me, I'd be like, get gone. Don't come back. Um, yeah, I don't know. <sighs> Again, in this one, lots of sex. I know it's done from the perspective of a teenage boy, but dear God, we don't need to hear about your erection every two seconds. Son, calm down. Get some lotion, it'll be fine. Uh, I did, I did, this is kind of an inappropriate review, isn't it? Oh my God, I'm so sorry, but these books are not for young people. Um, I don't really know what to say about Until You Other Than I did like it. Again, it was super well written, but Jared kind of annoys me. Like, I prefer Tate to Jared. Um, it was super interesting to see um, Casey's point of view, or like her involvement with Jared. And I liked meeting, meeting Jax as well. And again, obviously seeing a side of Maddox that you didn't get to see previously. Um, and I suppose Jared's relationship with his mom, that was kind of interesting. Uh, other than that, I really liked the first half of the book, or the first part, where there was no sex. The sex I understand, but it got a little bit much. It was just like, okay, we get it. And then there was like, sex scenes in it that weren't in the original so you just got an extra dose of sex it was everywhere very described and i'm a 24 year old woman i totally understand sex is nice but i i just kind of felt if i wanted to read about that i would read erotica <sighs> That's really all that I have to say about this book. I would recommend that you read it if you liked Bully. And I cannot wait for Maddox's story to come out. I'm just like, bring it out now. Because I really liked Maddox. He was awesome. Um, 
so I'll do a thing on that when it comes out. But other than that, this was kind of just a rambling of me talking about sex a lot, wasn't it? Yeah. Uh, but like last time, if you read until you and you read Bully and you liked them, tell me. If you didn't, tell me. I'm gonna go, because this is the word vomit. Not constructive to anyone. Okay, bye.